Not only about faster, more efficient, greener technologies, but also better looking technologies. And right now we'll go for the next step, live stream on 3D. This allows a different level of interaction, saving time, saving cost. I think that is mind blowing. We came to Shanghai where the World Mobile Congress is taking place. Right now we're going to explore a little bit of the upcoming technologies that Huawei is preparing for us in the near future. 5G is a new technology that is bringing a lot of benefit for everyone, consumers and industries. So let's go and explore a little bit what is about to come. coolest technologies that Huawei is preparing for us using the 5G technology is a new calling system. We'll be able to make video calls with our phone, just like a regular phone call like before. It's a technology that is coming soon here in China, and we're going to show you how basically it works. We have here the device, and we can also interact with different kind of businesses. For example, if we want to make a reservation, we can just make like a phone call and simulating calling a Spanish restaurant. It will give me several options just directly on the phone screen. We can just make a new reservation, for example. It has here all the information to guess, maybe uh, the date. You will receive a text message with the confirmation of that reservation. What is cool about this system? You don't need to go through several steps using additional apps. It's just like a regular phone call, but instead of calling or talking to someone directly, just like a regular uh, phone call. You will see there, you have the reservation, and this allows a different level of interaction, saving time, saving costs because you need additional people to interact with you and you do it directly on your phone just like a regular phone call. I think that's really cool. A more intelligent world means a greener world as well. And that's something I like about this 5G technologies, new mechanism to make the consumption of energy more efficient. And this is an example, a very nice example actually, of what we can have in the near future by making a better utilization of the space, using more capable infrastructure to make the transmissions of data. So now, instead of using larger spaces, we can make it smaller, make a better use of the space. Before, we need to use more space and more equipment like air conditioning for cooling some of the equipment. Before, we have a whole room that is consuming more energy, more electricity. In the near future, using these more capable technologies, we can have more space available for trees, for parks. We can see how it's improving and making a better use of the energies. We've seen that in many examples, not just only in the infrastructure, but for many industries like mining, warehousing, factories, is being translated into a more environmental friendly world. I think that is awesome and that's something we're going to see more and more often right now here in China. towards a new generation. Since we're developing 5.5G and now it's being implemented to many industries. 5.5G means 10 times faster speeds and 100 times more opportunities for businesses. Like for example, we have this automatic car. 5.5G will help to transmit data way faster. Usually the information that this car will take for one week to transmit to the data center now can be transmitted instantly. These autonomous cars are able to learn the paths and the patterns of the people around, the traffic jams, making more efficient, safer for the people around. This kind of operations will become smarter using 5.5G. I'm really glad to see all these improvements and I think we're moving faster and faster towards a smarter future. And Huawei is one of the companies that is helping us right now to develop all these technologies to make all these benefits possible. This car is a great example of one of the uses of the 5.5G technology that is already being implemented in China. another of the capabilities and benefits of the 5G technology, FTTR technology, which stands for fiber to the room. And one of the things that impresses me the most, older than the higher speeds that we're enjoying right now, 
it's a more static way to install this kind of equipment. It will not look like ugly cables all around the room, but instead of that, we have this fiber, this material that looks more transparent or kind of invisible if you put it in a corner, and we'll be able to transmit all the data in 5G between one device and the other. Of course, all the technology will be wireless, and we are seeing also different kind of routers that are being designed in a more beautiful way, in different kind of colors, in order to match uh, the decoration, perhaps, of the different environments that you might have at home. So, of course, we're talking about 5G capabilities. We'll be able to send different kind of commands controlling every single device in our home through our phone, through our tablet, through the computer. It's not only about faster, more efficient, greener technologies, but also better looking technologies. Live streaming is now revolutionizing the whole internet industry and right now we'll go for the next step, live stream on 3D. What is impressive is that we can see performances like the one that is right now behind me in 3D in our devices, but this 3D content of course needs a higher or a bigger bandwidth. So right now with the 5G technology capabilities, we'll be able to transmit and send all this data in a very fast speed so you can receive it in real time on your devices and enjoy the 3D content in real time. Like she's performing right now, you can be exactly at the other side of the world and you will be able to enjoy and see this performance on 3D on your phone, your tablet, or your computer. I think that is mind-blowing, and I really can't wait to get one of these devices to see a beautiful performance like traditional music, like she's doing it right now. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching, and stay safe until next time.